Mr. Castro here. Happy to have you beautiful people here. And today is a beautiful day, isn't it? Today is a wonderful day. Why? Because the day has finally come after two months of waiting, after four months of holding, after probably two years of planning. Yes, this has been in my mind ever since I bought this. It, it's, it's finally come today. Has finally come. I'm going to be reworking my Logitech Brill 4K webcam and I'm going to be doing it myself here right now in this very video. It's going to be a step-by-step -step guide. I'm going to walk you through it. I'm going to walk me through it. It's basic. I'm basically following the article, the official article of official guide article by Kuro Kesu and it's going to be it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be perfect. Uh, I, I'm excited. I can't wait to see the final outcome. Hopefully, you guys will be able to see it as well. And, you know, finally, my Logitech Rio 4K webcam will now be able to accept CS mount type lenses. This, this is the lens right here. And then, you know, that is, you know, that is just, just beautiful. That is just beautiful. By the way, if you want to see me unbox this beautiful piece of art by Kuro Kesu, then you can see this video up there uh, or links in the description because that basically it's the previous video I am I unboxed this yeah, and lastly special thanks to Salius Salus Sal I don't know how to pronounce your name I'm sorry man and without further ado it's time to say goodbye to the Logitech Brio stock all right, let's first start with the tools and the kit content so the kit includes all necessary fasteners and hex keys to put your new camera together. So these are the two hex keys. So this is a M2 uh, by 20 by 83 hex key. And then the smaller one is a M1.5 by 17 by 75. So that's the size of the hex keys. And then for the screws. So basically for the screws, the, this comes with the kit also. You have uh, six uh, DIN912 M1.6 by four uh screws which are these little ones right here I, I don't know if you can see them it's really far it's really small but there's six of them this is for the camera pcb that you're going to find inside the logitech uh the, the circuit board is that what pcb means <laughs> uh hopefully it is and then you have two din 912 m two by three screws this is for the microphones which is optional because in my case i'm not going to be installing them because i don't need the microphones <laughs> here uh, and then you have uh your four din and one din 912 m 2.5 by six four pieces this is for the enclosure these screws here and then you have your din n1 din and din 9 <laughs> How is it so hard? One, two, M2.5 by 10. So these are a bit longer than these. I don't know if you can tell, but they're longer than these. And these screws go here in the back under the type C port on the enclosure. So that's all the screws. This comes with the kit. What doesn't come in the kit is these tweezers. You're going to need a tweezer, a knife, uh, a small flat screwdriver, just to separate uh, the parts attached with double-sided adhesive tape. So this needs to be come off. We're going to have to remove that. And then there's also a part inside that we're going to need to remove. So that's why we have a blade. So this blade or a knife or something sharp, something something thin will come in handy to remove whatever's inside here. We'll, we'll get to that, but, you know, just nice to keep this in hand. You're going to need a screwdriver, a small screwdriver. Preferably because there's going to be screws you're going to have to unscrew from the original Logitech Brio. Uh, we have a desolder, uh, desoldering, soldering sucker? Desoldering sucker. It sucks. It basically sucks the soldering out. So I'm not even sure if we're going to use it, but it's good to have. We have a soldering iron to desolder, solder, solder. To desolder the solder in the circuit board. We're going to have, this. there's only like, Three things you have to desolder for at most. Uh, so yeah, that those are the tools we're gonna need, and then some scissors, because we're gonna need these scissors to cut the 3M double-sided tape for the filter. 
We're going to get to that later. And, uh, what else comes in the kit is we have the enclosure. So we have the Kurokasu enclosure here. This is the back plate of the enclosure. And then this is the front plate of the enclosure. Also, I bought these lens. So this is a 2.8 by 12 millimeter CS mount lens. Uh, as you can see right here, uh, let's remove that. So that's this. This I also got this, uh, and then this. This is a cover for here that goes there. This is a cover for here that goes here. You have the IR filter, which is this thing right here. This piece of glass. So this piece of glass is gonna go here. Well, not there. Under that, and then the the double sided tape for the filter so that it'll stick that's how you actually stick it on so that's what that is perfect so that's basically everything here on the table that we're gonna need except for this mouse we don't need this mouse uh, of course you're gonna need a logitech brio 4k webcam um yeah you i don't these are actually not in stock pretty much but yeah we're gonna need this as well all right, so let's move on to step one. Okay, so moving on to step one, we're going to extract the bare camera assembly. So that is what we're going to be doing. So we're going to disassemble the camera and salvage necessary parts. So first thing first, step 1A, we're going to remove the articulating mount. So this is the articulating mount right here. We're going to have to remove this. As you can see, uh, it's really sturdy, stuck on there. So first thing is you don't twist it no twisting allowed this is not a twist this is just a a, a pull you pull it all right so you, you move it left to right actually it's easier like that so you move it left to right and it'll just snap off like that at first if it's gonna be hard so you just do that so as you can see there's grooves here that that this is how that looks like so if you twist it you could actually there's actually a tendency that this will break or then which is not good you don't want that to break or this could even break and then you won't be able to properly mount it on a screw which is not what you want so that's how you remove it so that is a step 1a now step 1b so you can put this on the side all right like put this probably somewhere so step 1b we're gonna actually have to remove the glued plastic front plate so this is glued on uh can we focus here so this first, this plastic front plate, this this is just plastic. It's glued on. We're gonna have to remove this. So this is where your screwdriver comes in handy, or a sharp object like this, which you can use. So in order to do this, let's see how I'm um, like. It's so nice and clean, and we're gonna actually have to ruin it. So we're just gonna work here. You know, just do this nice and slowly. Don't if you're using a blade, make sure to not hurt yourself. That that won't be good for anyone. All right, so yeah, you just stick it out. Oh, yep, yep, we're breaking it. We're breaking it. All right, so let's do that. All right, so let's see if we, we can show this process to you guys. You just got to focus. No, okay, yeah, that, that's a goner. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Is that, is that even working? Is, are we going? Are we going in there? All right, so you're glued on, right? Okay, okay, I see what they did there. How about that? Yeah, okay. It's not easy as you, they want you to think. How about tweezers? Because it's really t stuck on there, like really tight. Come on, come on. Let's go. All right, that's a lot of focus going on here. So uh, once you get this part done, it's smooth sailing. This is probably the most annoying part here. All right, you just gotta just gotta jam it in, j jam it, and then pray to God it comes out. Or right, don't hurt yourself. It's just not. Oh man! All right, come on. There we go. We we got give. We got give there. You see that? Uh, it's pulling out. Yeah, it's stuck on. It's yeah. This is really glued on. 
I'm like, if there's a technique to remove glue, probably, you probably want to, you see that right there? Yeah, this, this camera doesn't look good anymore. Yeah, there's a hole there now, so you can actually stick something in there. So, something thin, like a tweezer. Then there, you can hold this part. And then, and then or just be careful not to go all the way in. You don't want to break whatever's underneath. But we should be fine. There, so, as you can see, we got that part locked. And then we can just pull it. Yeah, because it's glued on. Probably you could use a blow dryer, but yeah, there's the microphone slot. So this, this is just a plastic front plate that's really glued on. And then there, it's off now. Oh, that actually stuck on. So yeah, this is the microphone right here. So this is what the Logitech Brio without the plastic front plate looks like. This is the microphone on the front. So... Here you go. See, there are two screws that we're going to actually have to unscrew. So let's unscrew those. And which will, which will bring us to step 1C. So after removing the plastic front plate, we move on to step 1C, which is disconnecting the cables, the microphone, all the plat uh cables and all this stuff so which starts off by removing these screws so let's easily do that remember you have to have a, a small phillips screwdriver positive plus and just unscrew these i think there's a, there's only two screws it seems so just unscrew those easy peasy and then that comes off like that and then you just gotta disconnect the cables and everything inside from this housing so uh, let's let's show you right here so remove that remove that and then you got this you gotta remove that too All right, let's remove it that's where tweezers come in handy so you can actually just safely disconnect them like so like like so whoa not like so yeah, I don't want to break it why were those easy and then this one actually broke off so you if you want to fix that you'll probably have to you can't see it desolder this back onto here See, this, is, this is should look like this where these things are still left so that they can still be reconnected. If ever down the line you want to reconnect the microphones, but as long as the connectors here aren't, you know, connecting, there should be no short circuit happening. Right, okay, cool. Alright, so all that's left. Actually, I just, what I did was I just used my fingers. That's why I have long nails right now. Just pried them off and then that actually seemed to do the trick. Now we just have to remove the ribbon cable. So it seems for the ribbon cable, as with all, there's a clamp system going on. So you have to actually bring this clamp right here down. Uh, let's see if we can actually figure that out. Okay, actually, there is no clamp system. Uh, I'm just attempting to pull it out slowly, just jiggle it. And then I think if you can see it, you can't see it, nope. How about that? All right, so there nice and slowly just pull it out then there it comes off and there you have successfully disconnected the cables from the PCB so everything should still be on attack if you want to do reassemble them uh, and yep except for this that's unfortunate so after step 1c you're done you can put this aside you don't need that anymore unless you plan to reconnect the microphones then you'll probably want to shimmy these off like so you know you can just gently pull this and then get the cable and then you can reuse that you could do the same for the other side you just you get it this way uh, just be careful with it not to 
destroy it, you just press it down a little bit and then these come off. So if you do want to reuse the microphones, you can. But for me, I'm not, so we're just going to put those there for now. So we're going to move on to step 1D. We're going to remove the mount plate. The mount plate is this metal piece right here that is connected, that you use to actually connect your webcam, the Brio, to a mounting system. And there's adhesive on this, so it's recommended to get something sharp, something thin, and you can just shimmy it here under and jiggle it so that the adhesive part will eventually come off or loosen and then after that you can actually just pop this out so let's just do that really quick uh, remember not to hurt yourself you don't want to hurt yourself in the process so be careful All right, if this doesn't work probably tweezers yeah, just just see what you can do but hopefully this blade will do the trick I think we're getting somewhere yeah don't worry too much about destroying it because you're gonna destroy it anyway so if you can stick something inside like this like these tweezers that would actually be more helpful to actually peel off the sticky part from the PCB so that we can actually just remove it you just be careful not to break anything or to push the PCB. That's what's important. The housing, the, the original enclosure, we, yeah, that's fine if it's broken. Because unless you plan to reuse it, then that's a different story. So yeah, I'm just smashing it inside. Uh, I plan to do that on the other side. Oh, I'm actually bending the tweezers now, so that's not good. But sacrifices have to be made. Alright, we're going to do the other side. So as you can see, it's slowly giving in. Alright, so once there's a gap, you can actually get the blade and start doing that. So that's nice and cut clean. So like so. Like, a, you know, like you're swiping your credit card. Yeah, alright, perfect. Saw on the tree down. Just be careful not to overdo it. All right, so if that if it's loosened enough, this should easily come out. Oh no, what happened? Right, let's see. Nope. And also get Phillips screwdriver. Just smash it in there like so. And you know, eventually, yeah, twist it like, like that. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a good twist. I don't think I'm breaking anything, so we should be fine for now. So smash it in, twist, because it's really stuck on there. I'm like, that's really sticky stuff. So you want to make sure that those come off. Without breaking the important stuff, and then let's try to pry it out. Try using these. All right, so there we go. It's now loosened enough that we can actually just pull it out, and then there. This is the mount plate that is metal. Well, we have successfully removed. Good job on you you can drop that assess the situation here all right looks like everything's good nothing is damaged to what we don't want so yeah there you go so this is step 1d done now we're going to move on to step 1e so all right we're now on step 1e you can move the mount plate aside you don't need that anymore you can put that aside as well all right step 1e is fairly simple uh you just get a phillips screwdriver and then you separate the board from the enclosure so by doing that you just remove there's there's four screws that you have to unscrew right right here on the four corners so you do that fairly simple and like you can see it up close right here so there's one screw here is the second screw right here 
hopefully someone can see it if it's zoomed properly all right and then here's the third screw top corner okay let's just twist it around and then for the last screw right here and that should actually do it come on come off please there we go and you can actually hold the lens here I think that should be fine and that should come off there so you have successfully separated the board from this enclosure so good job now all you have left is the good stuff this is the PCB of the Logitech Brio look look closely at all the glory at the beautiful piece of art uh, make sure not to damage anything because we still have a lot of work to do so as you can see right here there is the Logitech uh, this is probably the processor here's the USB-C uh, connector and this is what we're going to be working with all right so moving on to step two all right so we're going to be moving on to step number two so step two is adding the filter i want to do step two if you have the filter first if not if you don't want to add a filter uh first or you don't have a filter to add you're just going to go directly uh nude then uh, you can skip this step go directly to step three but the reason i want to do step two first is so that when the um what is it called the sensor is exposed it won't be as exposed once this filter is installed so I do believe there's no right side up to the filter um, yeah they, they look pretty much the same on each side there is so you can just go ahead and remove the plastic uh, but the first thing we want to do is actually add this sticky tape so that's where that's where the scissors come in handy. So we're gonna actually cut this to a size that actually fits here. Yeah, so just try to eyeball it as close as possible. So in my case, probably around this this much is enough. All right, you can always trim it. So that looks about right we're gonna want to have like four 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 would be good all right let's actually see if we can test that here uh, that's where you want to actually have that installed yeah I want to have it nice and centered so yeah there that fits about good so I still have the plastic on. I did that on purpose. I want to see where I want to put the sticky stuff. And then as you, it's probably just like borderline. Yeah, just bring it, bring the sticky stuff, <laughs> the back to back tape near the circle as possible. So that's what we're going to be doing. So I just poke. All right. So we're going to have to cut. Four of the same sizes of these. Yeah, so after cutting four of these little things, it's really it's small work. It's really small work. Then after you cut those, you just try to try your best to install it here. Remember, with these circles are the bottom, so this is front side up, just you know to give you context. So let's let's see if we can actually pull this off. That's where tweezers come in handy. Yeah, these these should be fine. Tweezers and long fingernails. All right, you just want to make it nice, nice and so it doesn't have to be perfect, honestly. But you know, if you're gonna do something, might as well give it your best shot, All right? So the lights this way. Yeah, that's about right. Oh no. Oh no, that there. How about that? Then just press it down. Nice, nicely done. Good job. You can even do something like that. That did not work. You can actually just use your finger. Oops, yeah. 
there that that should that should be fine now we just do this to all other sides and then we should be good to go you know what let's use this two more sides to go two more sides to go why just why one more one more little piece of sticky tape so that looks about right now just remove this part and then we just stick on the piece of glass yeah right, make sure these are adhered properly yeah now this is another tricky part removing the sticky stuff from the sticky stuff all right so yeah just remove these it's really simple no it's not these are actually very tricky to remove i already did that okay so that's two three come on there we go and then one more perfect so it's just good so what you're left with is now you, there you can see the sticky stuff now we just have to uh place properly place the ir filter so let's do that so yeah with this plastic just align it here like so and then just stick it nice and good like such get your tweezers push it down or if you're a perfectionist like me try to align it to the best of the nope and then remove this well probably not remove the plastic yet there we go yeah, you can use your fingers they're actually more precise okay so it's not it's not the best job but it, it gets a trick done on this side so we should be good on that end so yeah you can scratch this down look look at that look at that look how good that is placed make sure it's not you know slanting so that when you do put in the cs lens will be fine then after that the final touch just remove this plastic and then there you got a nice clean job ir filter lens installed install this if you did get this so that it's covered and cleaned just remove that so there we go we should be good for a while and then there we got we installed the filter all right good job good job all right so we're gonna now proceed to step three modifying the camera board so step 3a is we're gonna have to unsolder so get your soldering iron we're gonna have to be careful because this is this is hot well it's not hot right now so you're gonna have to for step 3a you're gonna have to unsolder the led because we don't want that that's gonna mess up with it's just gonna mess everything up in, in the final phases of this project so this yellow thing right here you're gonna have to unsolder that come on focus so there's two on these two sides you're gonna have to heat this up and this up all right i'm, I'm no i'm no solder an expert so hopefully yeah i can get this job done properly so let's do that first and then let's proceed to the next step afterwards so let's let's see if we can get this done you know i'm just making it harder for myself is this even hot yet it's a this is a 60 watt 2 volt so uh, it's smoking so this should be good to go all right so i kind of broke it so yeah that's not going to be reused again but yeah i had to use yeah is it even coming off can i just scrape it off no kind of maybe let's see what we got here nope yeah all right so yeah you gotta be really okay so there there that this thing right here that's the come on focus that's the led light that i just removed out oh, why did that hurt anyway so yeah i think i did a good job removing that that was actually very tricky uh so as you can see there i actually had to i used i put it back in the case because it actually was felt easier to do so from this side probably it's more clear 
So yeah, hopefully that won't that that is not connected this circuit because if it is then we could fry this brio then that would just be sad we don't want that so let's just make sure that that's not connected and then we'll proceed to the next step afterwards after removing the led which was here uh which i think this was a good job we're gonna now move on to step three b which is we're gonna have to remove now we're gonna have to unsolder the lens focusing coil, which is these these two. These are this is the only unsoldering project that you're gonna have to do unsoldering parts. So once you're done with that, then everything should be smooth sailing from here on out. So we just have to unsolder these two next. That is what we're gonna do. So let's do that. All right. So this should be fairly easier than. Oops. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> All right. So yeah, let's just. Nope. All right, as you can see, it's melting right there. Just tricky. Try so fast. Come on. Yeah, my technicians have it cut for them and there's there's really skilled people. Oh well, you know, at the end of the day if I can do it, I guess you can too, so Alright, so yeah, so after uns unsoldering unsoldering these two parts right here. So as you can see, you unsolder here and here, then you just flip that open. So good thing that cooled down. Uh, let's see. All right, then you get your tweezers and then you just pull these two up. Actually, this was really hard. So for me, I'm no unsoldering expert. Remember. Uh, so what I did was once I did a decent job here i just ju i just you know smash this tweezers in really hard then i just flip these up and then yeah we're good to go that's what that should look like this should just be disconnected from the pcb board and also make sure that these unsoldered parts here they're not connecting or overlapping because that might cause a circuit break or something bad might happen we don't want that so just make sure that these these two parts here Come on, focus. There we go. Aren't aren't connected in any sort of shape. So there should be a gap right here. All right. So there we go. Good. Moving on to step three C, removing the lens assembly. So remember what we did in step two. Uh, we added the filter here. So yeah, we're gonna actually remove the lens assembly. So there's two screws here. That you want to remove and then which will show the sensor we don't want to get dust or any particles on that as much as possible so afterwards after that we immediately install it here remember USB-C port here this side is bottom so that goes just like that for context so yeah so let's remove let's remove 3C and really quick so we got our screwdriver right here So yeah, we'll just unscrew this right away. Actually, you know, this is a better screwdriver. We got screws for that, right? Alright, so home stretch guys, so just remove this screw here. Is it a smaller screw? How about this screwdriver? Is this smaller? Okay. So yeah, it's good to have an extra smaller these are actually small you don't want to break these okay so yeah removing the lens assembly so there there's these two screws here at the back so this is the lens and then this is the back part so these screws are you got to be really careful not to break them so if you have a screwdriver like this the the best technique to go about this is to screw it in and then just press in well, well, well this as support 
as hard as possible so that it will actually follow you and then do the same thing with the other side and then yeah that should all right make sure to keep it intact but remove the screws so that the sensor will not be exposed okay so that's one the nut came out on the other side and then here is the other one so the nut came out there and then here's the screw and then there yeah, we have successfully removed it now we're gonna move on directly to step four assembling the camera so yeah remember um, step 4a is optional inserting the microphone so the microphones will go here I'm holding this just to be sure but for demonstrations the microphones will go here you can slowly just pry this off insert that there and then just reconnect these back to the PCB uh, but we're gonna go directly to step 4b which is we're gonna screw the camera board uh, so this side down all right so this is the scent the the air filter it should be clean spotless and then we will expose this really closely so once this is done oh something what was that you can now gently pull this off there you go so this is that part as you can see come on there we go uh, so that is the lens that we were this is the brio lens and then this is the sensor so that is this is all this is what this looks like that is so wow I didn't know that lenses or cameras were like that so that is a, a small sensor right there that's the back so we're just gonna install it really gently making sure not to scratch on it then just like so actually you can even hold it by the USB-C port horizontally like so just aligned it like like a pro See why I don't want to? Okay, right. Yeah. Just like that. So yeah, you can understand why I don't want to actually install the microphones because that would have been actually more troublesome because if you're installing the microphones, you have to make sure that these wires aren't touching the PCB so they're inserted into those grooves there and that's what you'd want. But, you know, we're avoiding that. We don't need the microphones. If, you're, if you have a Brio, you pretty much should have a microphone set up but if you don't then sorry all right so then after that we can finally screw things in oh shoot come on just stay there all right all right so who okay it's it's shaky it's really shaky all right so we can put that like that now all right, I don't know if you guys can see this, but we're screwing it in. So we got these, these there's the six screws, the six screws that it comes with, and this small one. Really straightforward. You can just you know do that, or even that, like so. Can you see that? Flip it upside down. Hopefully it doesn't fall. Or just support it, and then screw it in. Nice, gently, easy, so simple. Do it for the other side too, like so. And then the other four corners should fit nice and perfectly. All right, three more. Yeah, so this is the easy part. Um, <laughs> Step 4B, screwing the camera board in. Actually, step 4 in general is the easy part, except for the scary part of actually... Uh, well, no, the scary part was in step 3C, where you have to remove the lens assembly and then the sensor is exposed. That, that's, a, that's probably the most scary. Actually, the, another scary part would probably be the desoldering, desoldering process. Because, you know, if you didn't do that right, then... Sorry, if you break your brio, then hopefully I didn't do that to mine. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna jinx it, but just praying. <laughs> I'm just praying. So these are really cool screws. That way you don't really have to repurpose anything. Uh, the screws that you took off the brio, you can 
use those for something else you don't need those anymore so after you screw these six screws you can just you know slide so slowly just tighten them just a little bit not too much just enough it's not it's not going anywhere so as long as it's there you should be good uh, remember for the center ones the there we go we can use that there we can just yeah give give it some give make sure it's nice and balanced the way it should be okay all right wow and then here's a, the four corners then the last one right here all right so yeah there we go we have now in done step four b we screwed in the camera board perfect now we can actually install and go move on to step 4c which is we screw in the enclosure so this is the back plate you just slide it on right here all right make sure that the type c is aligned as so huh okay oh there's there's actually something here that you can actually remove uh the type c it's like a cushion so yeah i thought that was like a ribbon cable yeah you can just remove that you don't need that anymore and then you can enclose put in the enclosure oh it's actually fairly loose so yeah there's one thing that you have to make sure of this i think these are heat sinks so you just take these out whoopsie yeah and then align it here so the first one should go here uh like so and then this one yeah put these on top of the We'll just call it the processor or the CPU or the brains. Yeah, we gotta make sure that these are cooled. So that's an important step because if it's stuck onto here, you might forget and then just directly install it. So yeah, then after that's done, so that will press those down. You install this in nice and gently. So there, it's still a snug fit. And then yeah, we can actually now move on to step. Yeah, we're actually on step 4C. So there's four screws that actually there's six screws, but uh we'll do the we'll do the two back screws first so it's these two long ones right here they they just easily go in right here in the back like so then you use the longer thicker uh hex screw and then just screw it on wow we are this is home stretch this was this was a long video guys but we made it we did it after all the setbacks were finally there we're finally almost done. We finally can go home and start shooting more epic footage using a CES lens mount. <laughs> and we can finally call it a day. Alright, so four more screws. We're good to go. <laughs> finally. Beautifully and wonderfully. Alright. So, yep, that's it. So yeah, in the next video, it's going to be in the next video, we're going to be doing a comparison video uh, before and after. So I did take some video shots, sh footage uh, of the Brio in its stock form because I am not returning that. That that Returning that would probably be impossible for me now since I don't have any technical skills or soldering skills of any sort as all. Well, this is actually nice. It's lighter, it feels lighter, um, but when you put the lens on, it's actually going to be more more heavier, it's going to be heavier. Alright, and then the last one, actually th th that's actually easier, why, why didn't I just do that in the first place? Okay, then just tighten them, alright, tighty, tighten, not too tight, don't want to break it. Just, you know, it's not going anywhere. Like I said, it's not going to go anywhere. And then boom. There you have it. Kuro Kesu installed. Nicely perfect. Finished. There's the housing. Here's the front. Then here is the IR lens. And then you can see behind it the sensor. And time for the Creme de la Creme Step 5. Get your CS lens. Mine is a 2.8 to 12. 
and then just screw it on and then you are done there you go Kurokesu rework kit for the Logitech Brio 4K webcam done all right we're gonna do a review on this sometime soon so watch out for that and then there's we have some final notes but since this video is too long already I'll probably leave that for a different video so watch out for that and then yeah we're done yeah just check the website congrats thank you so much Salius Kurukasu uh, we did it and we can finally go home sleep call it a day and look forward to the comparison video guys it's gonna be awesome I'm pretty sure it is but yeah that looks really cool I do tell you uh, I can't wait to test it right now uh, you guys will have to wait though cuz I'm yeah <laughs> yeah so there you have it uh, we did it all right now it's in the next video we're gonna actually test actually I'm gonna test it right after but in the next video you're gonna actually see if it actually worked cuz yeah <laughs> but we're also gonna be doing a comparison video so we're gonna compare stock versus custom aftermarket rework uh, there's a lot of terms that i've that has crossed my mind and i don't know which one we're going to settle with so it's either of those but it's the kuro castle version let's just say that uh for a written guide if you guys want a written guide you can just you know i'll leave a link in the description it's basically everything i did but written all right i followed the official guide from kuro Kasu. Uh, yeah yeah so that's that this is basically it we're done good good job good job congrats uh hopefully you guys did find this useful and you did enjoy it if this is of entertainment it's basically just a walkthrough guide tutorial so it should be more informative right yeah anyway if you did enjoy it then you know you can check out this playlist here it should be everything about my logitech brio should be and you could also check out this video which will be the comparison video or that video if there's going to be a video there about uh, the unboxing video and yeah that, that's that's it so yeah thank you and i'll see ya